Welcome to our lecture online. Now we know that we can use synthetic division when we have something that looks like this, a polynomial in the numerator, like we have up there, and then something that looks like this in the denominator. But what if we have something like this instead? For example, 3x minus 1 instead of x minus 1 or x plus 1 or something like that. Well, it turns out we're going to end up with a fractional root, and the question is, can we then use synthetic division? And the answer is yes. It just takes one additional step, and let me show you what that looks like. So first, what we're going to do is find the root. So to find the root, we set the denominator equal to 0. We have 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. 3x equals 1. x equals 1 third. And that's the root we're going to use in our synthetic division. So then we plop down the numbers. We write down the numerical coefficients of the numerator, 3 minus 16 plus 5. Notice that this is the, the x squared term, this is the x to the first term, this is x to the zero term, like so. And then we go ahead and we plop down the root, which is one-third, which comes from here. Now we draw down the line. Again, we do the same thing. We drop the first number down. Then we multiply one-third times three, which gives us one. We add the two numbers together, which is minus 15. We multiply 1 third times minus 15, which is minus 5. We add the numbers together, we get 0. Notice that this here is the remainder. And these then represent x to the first power and x to the zero power. Notice that the exponents here is always one less than the ones we started with. So in the numerator, we start with x squared. Then here in the answer, we get x to the first power. If in the numerator, we start with x cubed, then over here, the first term here would be x squared. It's always one less in the exponent than what we started with. So now what we need to do is write out what this answer really signifies. So now we can say that 3x squared minus 16x plus 5 divided by now, since we use x equals one-third, we have to write x minus one-third in the denominator equals, that would be 3x minus 15. Now, if we cross multiply, we get the following. We get 3x squared minus 16x plus 5 is equal to x minus a third times 3x minus 15. And then if we factor out a 3 here, if we multiply that times over here instead, we can do the following. We can say that 3x squared minus 16x plus 5 is equal to, multiply this by 3, we get 3x, multiply this by 3, we get minus 1, and then dividing this by 3, we get x, dividing this by 3, we get minus 5, and then this is the solution or the factored form of this original problem. Notice, we still have the 3x minus 1, and then we can say, in the end, that 3x squared minus 16x plus 5 divided by the 3x minus 1, which is then equal to, let me put a line in here, x minus 5. And that's then the solution. Since we use the root 1 third, so then essentially we start with x minus 1 third, we then have to change it back to 3x minus 1 by multiplying this by 3 and then dividing this by 3 so that the product stays the same. And then essentially we have this as our solution. So yes, you can use fractional exponents. It takes an extra step to get to the final solution, but that is how you do that. That's the way we work with fractional exponents, or I should say with fractional roots when we use synthetic division.